Hello readers, let's look over our learning targets so that we can write some words today. Our first learning target says, I can say the sounds of digraphs, w, ch, sh, and k. And then we're also gonna focus on the third one. It says, I can use what I know about sounds to decode words. Okay, so let's look at our digraphs first. So here we have our digraphs and I'm gonna say it and then I want you to say it. W-H, whistle, w. Nice. T-H, thumb. Remember, you put your tongue between your teeth and say. Nice job. S. H, ship, sh, perfect. C, K, sock, k, nice work. C, H, chin, ch, nice job. So we're gonna use those today when we write these words. So you are gonna take out your paper that looks like this. And the first word that we're gonna write is chop. You can say it, say chop. Good. So the first sound that we hear in chop is ch. So with your finger, just like the picture, say ch. The next sound is ah, ch, ah. The last sound is p. So you can do it. Ah, p, chop, ch, ah, p, chop. You do it. Nice work. Okay, so now that we know the sounds, we need to build it. So I know that the first sound says ch. So which digraph are we going to use for the ch sound? Not this one. This one says, this one says, whoa. So it's not this one. We're looking for ch. That's right. It's this one, C H. So we're going to have C H first. Ch. Next, we need a letter that says the ah sound. Which one of these says the ah sound? Is it the O or the U? Very good. It's the O. O octopus ah. Ah, and last we need p. Which letter says p? This one or this one? The P or the W? That's right, it's the P. P says p. So now we have ch, ah, p, chop. So here's our digraph to start us off. And then we have ah, p. Let's write it. So first we had our C-H in ch. And the box is a little small. That's Miss Anna's fault, I'm sorry. So we have ch, like chin, ah, and then we have p, chop. And then you are gonna write it over here on this line. That's your job. Let's do the next word together. Next, we're going to write the word duck. What does a duck say? That's right, quack, quack. All right, so take out your tapping hand. What's the first sound in duck? That's right, d. What's next? D, uh, k. That's right, it's uh, d, uh, what's last? K, that's right, d, uh, k. Duck, you do it by yourself. Nice job, duck. So let's find our letters for the word. So first we need the d sound. Which letter says d? W, D, or U? That's right, it's D. So let's get rid of these. So first we have d. Next we have the uh sound. Which letter says uh? I, 
or you? Hmm, it's not I. I says it. So it's you. You, uh, uh. D, uh. Next we need k. Which digraph makes the k sound? Hmm. W, H, whistle, w. I don't hear k there. C, H, chin, ch. Don't hear k there. C, K, sock, k. That's right, I hear the k sound there. And the way I like to remember the k sound is that if I cover up the K, K says k. And if I cover up the, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I cover up the C, K says k. And if I cover up the K, C says k. So when they come together, they still make the k sound. D, a, k. There's our word, duck. Let's write it. So first we had our D for D. So we're gonna write that right here, D. Next we had our U for a. Uh, and then we had our CK digraph for K. And something special about the CK digraph is that it always comes at the end of a word. It never comes at the beginning or goes in the middle. So then you are gonna write the word on the line. Let's do our next word. Our next word is ship. Let's tap it out. Sh, I, p, ship. The first sound is sh. Next I hear i. Last I hear p. Helps to talk like a turtle. Ship, ship, ship. You do it. Very nice. So first I hear the sh sound. So let's find which digraph says sh. W, H, whistle, w, not that one. T, H, thumb, not that one. S, H, ship, sh. That's right, let's pull it down and say sh. Very good, next we have the i sound. Which letter says I? Is it O or is it I? Not O octopus, ah, it's I, itch, I. So we have sh, I, last we need p, sh, I, p. Which letter says p? That's right, it's the P, W says w. Sh, I, p, sh, I, p. Read the whole word. Ship. Now I'm gonna tap it and you say the sounds. Now say the whole word. Nice work, ship. Let's write it. All right, so we're on the next page now. So if you need to turn your page, turn your page. And we have it here. So we have the sh sound first. So we have S, crazy S, <laughs> H, sh. Then we had I, I for I, and then we had P, P for P, sh, I, P, and then you write it on the line. Two more words, you are showing so much perseverance. Our next word is with, like come play with me. Let's tap it out, take out your tapping hand. W, that's right, I, and last is W. I, w, I, you tap it out. What's the word? With, that's right. W, I, with. Okay, let's find our letters. First, I hear the W sound. Which letter says W? Is it O or is it W? W. W. Next we have I. Which letter says I? Is it P or is it I? 
That's right. It's an I. It's a vowel. I. So we have w, i, and our last sound is. I notice when I say that my th or my tongue goes between my teeth. So which digraph does that? S H ship sh. Mm, I don't hear a th there. T H thumb. That's right. I hear it. W i with your turn say the sounds now say the word Oops, that's right with let's write it first we had w that was a w next we had i we decided that was our i and then we had and that's our t h digraph W I, and then you write it here on the line. Last word, here we go. Our last word is whip. Like if you've ever heard the song, I whip my hair back and forth. That is the word whip. And now you're gonna know how to spell it. That's so cool. So first, what sound do you hear? Whip, W, that's right. What's next? Whip. W -i. That's right, it's I. W -i. And then what's last? Whip. That's right, it's P. W -i. P. Whip. You do it. Nice work. Let's find the letters. Which digraph says W? C H chin. No, that says ch. T H thumb. No, that says W H whistle. W. That one says W. So pull it down and say W. Good. Next we have I. Which vowel says I? Is it U or is it I? U says uh, so it's not that one. I, itch, I. That's right. Pull it down and say I. W, I. And last in whip is whip. So we need a P. P. W, I, P. Whip. Your turn. Whip. Very nice. Let's write it. First, we had our W digraph. It's a little bit tiny. That's my bad. I know you can do it. W, W, H, I was I, and P is P. And you are going to write it on the line on your own. Great job, readers. You just read and wrote five words with digraphs. And that was something brand new. So I think you deserve the dynamite cheer. Your work is boom, dynamite. Your work is tick, 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 boom, dynamite. Nice job, readers.